but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Oh, it's really warm here. Honestly, I'm not... I don't know what I'm doing. Hey guys, it's Fiery. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I brought you an art haul from Germany. So the story of this art haul is that there's been a lot of things that I wanted to order from Amazon, but to order it to Hungary, it costs a lot and shipping costs do add up so I decided that, uh, with my boyfriend well with or without him that I would order a few things to him because he is currently in Germany and when I visit him I would get it from him I will show you the bunch what I have here now so not everything is from Amazon a few things I got it from the little shops while I was visiting Germany. Some of them are artist products, some of them are just like stationery, and uh, let's get started. So first of all, I got this bamboo watercolor paper, which is 250 grams less square meter, so quite thick paper. I'm going to actually test this out at the end of the video with gouache. Uh, we will see, it's quite a nice tiny paper. Then I got this little uh, plastic crate. I don't know, every artist has this and I also have some already and this will be my third one. It's a tiny one. You can never have enough of this because Art stuff is just accumulating. So yes, I also got some golden pearls for jewelry making, maybe. It was just something really cheap, so I grabbed it, nothing special. And when I was in the art shop, I found a quite good price Van Gogh pocket watercolor palette, so I had to get this. It consists of 12 colors, 12 basic colors, I think, and it comes with a brush plus a place to mix the colors. So I haven't tried it out yet, so I have no idea about the quality, if it's good or not. Honestly, so far I've only used Windsor and Neutral watercolors, so I only have that as a reference. We will see how it performs, but I think Van Gogh is quite a good brand, but uh, cannot really say more about it. We will have to see. I bought this palette because I wanted something to be able to take with me when I don't want to take my... I don't know how much color is the other one that I have, but it's really heavy, so it's for traveling only, when I only want to have fun, make some art, but nothing serious, honestly, not for professional watercolor drawings, just fun and experimenting and having something on the go all the time. So yes, this is all I have to say about this, and let's keep going with the other things. I also got this uh, date stamp from Paper Poetry. I haven't tried it out yet as well, but it was so cute. It's basically a sticker that you can stick on this acrylic block, and then you can make like dates with it. And it looks super cute so I want to use it soon we will see how it performs I think I have to get ink for this I will not unbox it now 
and also what I got and I'm really excited about is this Windsor & Newton wash set. It is a designer gouache set which means it's higher quality than the Himi gouache and the Mia gouache that I have. So in this video I'm going to test this out together with the bamboo watercolor paper at the end of the video. So if you're interested about that then you can go there but I will also talk about the Mia palette because I also get that. So there are many differences between designer gouache and student gouache. What I have here is the Himi gouache and the Mia gouache. These are student grade gouache. And what I bought now, the Windsor & Newton, is a designer gouache, which means it should be a higher quality pigment. Also, the opacity should be higher, so more opaque colors. And there is this thing called light fastness. This is kind of like a measuring value for paints. It determines the strength of the pigments against UV light exposure. So it means that over time it will not fade when it gets sun exposure. And also it should have like a finer texture and it should feel smoother on the paper altogether. And I should have like a better mixing experience when I'm trying to make colors. They should be blending really well. So I will test it out at the end of the video. So let's continue. When I was scrolling through Amazon, I found this really cute travel palette, which I will show you now. It consists of a silicone water cup and also like a palette where you can store your paints and a mixing palette. And I decided that I will fill it with my new Wizard and Newton gouache. I will do it at the end of the video. It's quite nice. Honestly, the only problem that I have with it is that the mixing place is quite small, so you cannot really mix many colors there. But of course, with gouache, you can maybe take another palette with you if you want to take it on a trip or something. But it's so nice, so compact, and I'm really happy about the quality. Everything looks fine. And the color is amazing. I never thought that I would like this type of bluish green, but it's really, really nice. So yes. And here comes the Mia palette. I had to buy it because it just looks amazing. I have so many artists having it and I just wanted to try it out as well. My reference to this palette is the Himi gouache palette. So the Himi gouache, I love it, but I have two problems with it and actually this problem occurred after I bought the Mia palette. So now I'm rethinking everything again. So two of the colors from my, my Himi gouache palette started to get moldy. I put them to exile, now they are not in the palette anymore and I hope that I will not have the same problem with the Mia palette. I will make sure to use clean water when I'm sprinkling them with water and uh, it's quite unfortunate because I really like this, uh, this setup where you don't have to push out from the tube. You can grab as much color as you want while you're painting, so you don't have to like do all these taking off the cup, putting it back, squishing out, mixing the colors. So yeah, the colors look so vibrant, so nice next to each other. They look so amazing, such a huge variety. And the big question in my head is that, is it as good as the Himi gouache palette? And honestly, I'm not sure. I think this Mia palette is a tiny bit more translucent, but I have to test it a bit more out to be able to say like a final verdict about the palette. But so far, I'm, I was having fun with it.
Hey guys, welcome to the ground. Um, I just wanted to make like this tiny conclusion part for the video where I show you the result because unfortunately I got kind of bored about filming it so I didn't go through with it until the end and also I want to add one more product to this art haul because what I'm filming now you cannot see it but I can see it is I got a new camera and honestly I am so obsessed with it I use it for making videos hopefully I will be able to make higher quality drawing videos now and also the photography part is my new hobby so I've got the Sony ZV-E10 um, it's like a, mostly a video camera but or also it can make really amazing pictures so so yes that's about it and here is the final result of the paint that i did so now you can see it so it's nothing special it's just a scenery drawing honestly i'm not happy about it i'm not sad about it quite neutral nothing good nothing bad so yeah Oh yes, and I had a really fun experience with the designer gouaches. I definitely feel the difference between the Himi and this gouache. So it's finer texture, they're mixing well, really vibrant color. But unfortunately, I have just the basic color tubes. So it was kind of a hassle to make all of the colors what I wanted to use on the painting. So I'm not happy about that part, but I think you can get through with it, just like getting used to mixing colors and getting better at it. But I think I have to make a tiny bit more experiments until I can say like a final verdict about the colors, the paints. And, uh, and yes, this was this video and I hope to see you in my next one. But there's bye something bye. inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be.